All right, Dave here with another exciting tutorial, and today I want to talk about X-ray shaders. If we look at the side here, um, and I feel like there's a lot of different types of X-ray shaders, so that's kind of what I'm sh why I'm showing you this, because it depends on what your goal is. You can see here that we're getting a kind of a hint of the body, so I can see that it's only the body is showing up on the edge. And what I want to point out is that we could say like this gray line, it's it's not really existing on the shoulder there. It's only existing on the shoulder there because of its orientation to the camera. Because if I rotate it, I can see that that contour line is going to change. Once again, it's always going to be pushed to the edge of the geometry. Um, so really cool stuff. You can also kind of make tune shaders with what I'm going to show. And at the end of the video, I'm going to kind of show um, how to use the exact same technique to kind of uh, create a tune shader if that's something you're looking for. So, um, all right, let's go ahead and dive right in. I'm just going to go ahead and stop this. And if we want to look at what this looks like, uh, so I'm in Maya, and if I go to the Hypershade, obviously that'll bring up uh, the Hypershade here. And this guy's, um, let me see. So if I go to his um, skin, I can click on his skin, and then I can click on the in input output connections and let me see okay so this is what I have going on now what's happening here is this I have starting with the sampler info node there's something on there called the facing ratio and what that is is basically uh, it knows where the camera is looking so that's why uh, that's really important for this because I feel like this edge is only based on when the camera is looking at it from this angle. When it's when the camera rotates over here, uh, it has to know a different thing. So basically, without getting too fancy, that's just called facing ratio. Then that's going to get plugged into the um, a ramp, and that ramp you can see here is kind of a preview. That ramp controls how much of the edge we want to be seen, what color we want that edge to be, um, and things like that. And then that gets plugged into a material. I have a displacement on there, but that's not necessary. So just kind of give you a preview of where we're headed with it. So even though it looks kind of complex, it's really not too bad. So let's uh, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go like this. I'm going to just select this guy, whoop, his body, and I'm going to give him a Lambert material. Um, this works with Lambert. You should be able to do this with AI standard surface too, but I feel like it just even works even easier with Lambert. And now if I hit play, that's what I have on this guy okay so and this is called Lambert 21 is what it's called on here so if I go to Lambert 21 and if I hit input output connections uh, here's my here's my material that I'm working with so now I'll be able to kind of get a preview of him right here and I'll also be able to kind of navigate down here so I'm just gonna make this a little bit bigger so the first thing I'm gonna need is that sampler info node so to get that I just want to make this a little bit narrower. I'm going to go on the side here. I'm going to go to utilities and I'm going to go all the way down to try to find sampler info node. Here it is. And great. Sample info node has something called facing ratio and that's what I want. Okay. Now I need something to kind of control how much of that edge is going to be visible. So I'm going to go to a ramp. So under Maya 2D textures, here's ramp. And this is normally controlling how the ramp is placed like is it vertical is it twisted um, you can see that I can rotate it and things like that and that's because of this node here but I don't want that I'm gonna delete that what I want is my sampler info node to drive uh, the ramp so if I open this up I can see the U and the V coordinate and I'm gonna take the facing ratio. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to say facing ratio plug into U. And then facing ratio also plug into V. And then I could kind of minimize that. I could open it and close it. Then I want that to plug into my material. So I'm going to plug out color into transparency. Okay, let's see what that looks like. And right away, I can see that it's actually starting to, to work. And actually, that looks pretty cool, just as is. But if I want to adjust it, I can go to the ramp, and now I can kind of play with this. And you can see that this is what's dictating um, how the edges are looking. And you can see that if I rotate my camera, 
once again, I'm in the Arnold Live Render View Update, um, I can kind of see that that's working. Now, if I want, you can see it's kind of a faded edge there. If I don't want a faded edge, I could switch this to, to none. Now it's going to be kind of a harsher edge. You can see it's a super harsh edge. Uh, I, I do kind of like that faded edge. I could also, if I wanted to change a color, now white is completely transparent because that's what I have in my transparency. But if I wanted to have this a different color on the outside, I could select this um, uh, slider at the top. The bottom one would actually delete it. But if I click on this one at the top, and if I go to selected color, now I can click on this, and you can see that I can get weird colors. Now it looks like it's going to be the inverse of the color. Um, so I feel like I don't worry about that too much. I just kind of click on that until I get you know the desired result of what I want. But I feel like I kind of like it just the normal one, but I feel like you can kind of play with that if you wanted to. Um, but really cool way to get kind of a cool x-ray shader using the sampler info node, uh, the ramp. I'm sure you could probably do it with the Arnold utilities, but I feel like I'm kind of old school and I'm just doing it with the original Maya utilities. But um, I kind of told you like, hey, we could do something like kind of like a tune shader as well. So if we wanted to see that, um, I could just simply take this and instead of plugging it into transparency, so I'll delete that, if I plug this into color, um, you can see that we're kind of getting that tune shader right there. And I could select this and I could change this to any color that I want. And now maybe we do want that harsh edge and maybe I want that to be really kind of tight. And now you can see that no, once again, no matter where I turn it, we're, we're, we're kind of getting that, um, that border edge on there and I can determine how much of that border edge I want to see you know how much I don't want to see I could even probably plug this in right here as well and now I've got kind of a combination of um, you know transparency with color and it looks like maybe it's it's not happy with me there um, because transparency probably wants to go off of um, you know kind of black or white but I'm gonna go ahead and delete that so hopefully that was helpful and um, if you have any questions, once again, leave it in the comments below. And I will see you next time. All right, thank you.